Legend of Total War here with part 2 of my Rome 2 Emperor Edition Imperator Augustus Let's Play campaign as Parthia. Alright, so previously we got things started by conquering a few settlements. We've pretty much smashed the Dahe. And, um... I don't know what's going on with Armenia. They declared war on me, but they haven't really shown up their armies. We took out a small force of theirs with our horse archer stack. Well, half a stack. So that went well, and uh, alright now, let's just uh, figure out what to do from here. Probably best just leave that as it is for the time being, um, just because of that extra public order. Uh, this we don't need, we can get rid of that. Weavery. Uh, convert that to Adobe Maker. I don't really... Yeah, I think the Adobe Maker is better. So we're probably not going to be seeing too much of the... Um, or maybe we will be seeing them. So uh, they're they're on their way back. The... Uh, what's Antony's Rome. So you're going to be needed... You need to be ready to deal with that. I don't know. You're not going to be able to deal with it with this, that's for sure. You might as well come to Antioch. This is the only place where you're actually going to be able to repel them. Anyway... We can send these guys back over there to do if whatever damage that they do, we can we can restore it. But we need to take out Armenia first because we got a peace treaty with them at the beginning of the campaign, and then they they didn't last the ten turns before betraying us. I think I think it. I don't think they lasted. I don't think there's even been ten turns in the campaign yet. Or maybe it has. I don't know. I don't really keep track of that. There's no counter anyway. Uh, there's this, but that's you know I have to have to do the maths on that. I can't be fucked. Um, okay, well I've got some money, so let's look for something to build. I don't really care what. I mean, our economy is really good. The main thing I'm looking for in a settlement at the moment is actually a grain region. So we need to be expanding towards Egypt, but at the same time I need to be securing the east. Because we don't have armies all over the place. That's that's not an efficient way to go about it. You want to concentrate your forces in one area. Especially if you are strong. Which we are. Public order here in Ario is okay. Can we expand this? Yep. Okay, cool. Let's go with this building here. Because that's good for growth. Because it clearly needs some. Don't think we need to recruit any more troops. Let me just... Okay, these guys here need to level up. See, that would have been a much better choice than this, which I did with the other army. See, it was just sort of instincts. Plus 3% movement speed. But what about missile damage? That would actually be better. By all archers. Yeah, since we... we the thing is, if you're going to go Parthia, of course you've got to hire archers. That's their strength. If you've been following my live streams lately, you'll be noticed. You'll be uh, have noticed that I've been doing a lot of Rome Two multiplayer battles, and that I've sort of made Parthia my unofficial favorite. I've got a pretty good fucking stack. Only a few people have been able to beat it, and even then, not by not by huge margins. But the thing is with Parthia and that people don't like, like when it comes to Rome too, people love picking Rome. And Rome is the kind of faction that uses brute strength to win battles. And um, for me personally, I don't think brute force, brute force is the last resort when it comes, when I do battles. And let me just see here, yeah, logistics. Parthia is a skirmish faction, much, much like the Huns, except they've got good, really good foot archers. Um, And so my, the way I always build my multiplayer builds is that when I focus on a faction, whatever I choose a faction, I focus on their strengths and I ignore, I, I just forget about their weaknesses. So for example, if a, if a faction has weak cavalry, I just don't hire any cavalry. Um, and by weak cavalry, I don't mean necessarily weak, but if it's not cost effective cavalry. Um, if a faction has crappy infantry, well then I don't hire any of their infantry. Because, why would you include a weakness into your army? Now that often mean, leads to unbalanced builds, you know. So for example, my Parthia build is, without melee infantry, I go full ham on archers. Because, that's their strength. 
So it does, it leaves weaknesses in my army, but the thing is, um, those weaknesses are not so easy to, to exploit. Stop the adoption. How are we going with politics? I wasn't really paying attention to it. Yeah, we're, we're good with that. Okay, where is their other army? I think one of the reasons I don't like tournaments, apart from the fact that there's people there, um, is that every faction is often is like given the same rules. And oftentimes that puts some factions at a disadvantage. So for example, you know, the, the WTB or whatever the fuck it's called, CBW or whatever rules um, for for Rome 2 for example might be something along the lines of max 6 cavalry including general max 6 infantry max 4 of the same type but problem is with a faction that like Britannia before the patch or whatever that doesn't have much in their roster um, it, it doesn't favour them so you end up with every player playing as the same fucking faction that have the, the most diverse roster what cruelty do you wish, O oh Lord? Sabotage, a most. But yeah, anyway, in I terms of multiplayer, when I when I play people with my Parthia build, especially people that play Rome, they get they like they whinge and complain a lot. They're like, oh, why don't you fight me honorably? Yeah, to the guy who brought fucking eleven to fifteen legionaries, <laughs> as if I'm going to send my melee infantry against that. Even if I did hire the 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 Parthian infantry. They wouldn't be, even the best infantry can't keep up with, you know, Rome's essentially medium troops. Why would I try and match them there? Because the thing is, there is no tactics you can do. You know, they just cannot win against legionaries. But you know what? Do beat legionaries? Shooting them. And then charging them with cataphracts after you've killed their general. In my opinion, if you want to, if you're gonna play as Rome against Parthia, you gotta bring like a ton of levies, because levies are great for soaking up missiles and just rushing. You gotta rush at Parthia. You can't be. Most people when they play Rome, they sit down in a blob and they just go into Testudo. <laughs> you won't get me now. I use up all my ammunition. It still kills heaps of them, and then I charge in and break them. Yeah, you just, you, you just, uh, you don't fight with honor. No, but I fight like a Parthian would. And on, anyway, on is subjective. If anything, I'm the most honourable general in the world because my main purpose is always bring my troops home. Is there any more honour than that than to keep your own soldiers alive? The adoration of your own troops. Because of fuck what your enemies thinks about you. Did they sabotage us? I think they attempted to, but they didn't succeed. Okay, we can see they've got some troops up here. Ready for orders. Ideally, we want to like defeat them separately. Sabotage this guy here because he's on force march. That way he won't be able to make any attacks on us. Like that army there by itself is no real threat. Still have a little bit of replenishing to do. You just stay here. Now you, are you able to kill this guy by any chance? Pretty low chance of success, but it's a good opportunity for him to gain some experience. Alright, public order is actually pretty good, so we'll go with this. Gotta get that tech rate going. I'm sure they'll be here soon. We'll need slingers. And trashy units like that. Uh, that's right, it's supposed to be delivering them artillery. So I usually want two artillery in each doom stack. 
going to hire three because I want to um, hand them off to other units as well. That being said, the Armenians don't seem to hold any more capitals. Basically, in Rome too, I don't assault settlements, uh, walled settlements, unless I've got artillery. Because going those towers just do too much damage. Especially for a faction that just doesn't have any heavy infantry. Alright, well we don't have much money left. Uh, let's... Okay, so... Did I sabotage them? Yeah, so they're not going anywhere. So, Dahe is pretty much defeated. So, we... The... What are they called? The Istai. Let's see if we can trade with them. They don't like us very much. Welcome. Speak. Come on. No. Is there anyone that does kind of like us that we might be able to trade with? There's Egypt, but I don't really want to tra trade with them. I'd rather kill them. No, we're trading with loads, loads of people anyway. I think most of our income is actually coming through trade. Let's have a look. Oh, it's here. Yeah, more than half of our income. Well, compared to comparatively to taxes, half of our income is coming in through trade. So yeah, I I will eventually get rid of my satraps once once tax income increases a bit more. All right, let's move on. Awaiting Partia's bidding, my lord. How oh, may I serve Partia? Yeah. So unlike in my Rome campaign, my doom stacks will include a lot of archers in this. So I expect that this campaign will be um, pretty similar to some extent from my my grand campaign Rome 2 one and that's um, just you know auto resolve a lot at the beginning and um, we'll be trying to build up the, the doom stack. The thing is you can't just be like turn one build your doom stack because for one thing the tech isn't available you gotta build everything up and secondly it's not cost effective to do that at the beginning because there's a bunch of techs that will reduce upkeep costs and increase your economy. You need to get them done first. Because it is much better to have more armies than quality armies if you had to choose between the two. I mean if you can have all if you can have maximum stacks as all as doom stacks then yeah you go ahead and do that. Horse of the step they they um Confederated. Gods of the afterlife, spit. Okay, so let's see. What, what I just finished researching? It'll tell me here. Ceremonial rites. Which one's that? Is that? That was this one here. Yeah, we needed that so we can get this. So I can get Clay Tablet Archive. It's also good for spreading our cultural influence. And reducing corruption. Now, these guys here think that they've saved themselves by doing that. But here's the thing. Fuck you. They've just made an enemy out of me by doing that. You try to save them, They're, those guys are dead. At your command. How can I be of assistance? I would travel the world for Parthia. Uthra. How may I so, Parthia? Those guys up there, I'm gonna fucking kill them for that. Anyway, that's it's pretty much like the only direction we can go in, unless we want to go after our vassals, which not yet. Later on. So let's let's get moving. Ready for order. I would travel the world for Parthia. Yeah, this is auto resolve stack, but it's pretty easy to get rid of um, horse archers. Yeah, the way to get rid of the, the step faction is just auto resolve them because they're terrible in auto resolve. Public order here is pretty good even without anyone sitting in it. So, what's the instability? It should be like sixteen. Yeah, it's heaps. So obviously that'll improve over time.
Okay, that'll be fine to do. I'm just a little bit concerned about the amount of food that we're using up. Because I don't have much left now. Because I, I really don't like to focus too much on, on building up the food buildings. Because you get the grain settlements and then it's just, it just sorts everything out. Alright, so what these guys are going to do, they're going to stand around over here. And they'll meet up with them after they, they get to here. I should have recruited some more troops last turn. Oh well. Okay, we should probably go to Artexada because these guys are actually sitting in the settlement, which means we can wipe them out this, this way. Did they sabotage us? No, they failed again. Are you going to have another shot at this? Your chance of success is, is much lower this time. Awaiting Mithra, watch over me. As you command, my lord. What cruelty do you wish, O oh lord? My lord. So you can come down here, but aren't you the one... Wait, which one are we not supposed to use? So it doesn't really matter that much. As long as he stays out here. He's never going to be a um, big problem. Yeah, he's... I mean, he won us the battle last time. It doesn't really matter if he levels up, as long as we don't make him a statesman afterwards. How may I serve? So here's the thing. We take them out over here, and that will... Look, we don't need the artillery right now. We should take out their army, especially when they leave themselves in a weak position. What cruelty do you wish? My lord. Oh, lord. None will escape. Ready for order. Make haste, man. Attack! Could fight it manually. And we'd certainly do well. We've got a lot of horse archers here. Alright, let's let's do this. I mean, it is not in my best interest to fight this battle manually. I just want to say that right off the bat, but I will fight it manually. Could have also sabotaged them prior to going into the battle, but I just felt like this is, this is fine. Because I want that, that spider to go look on ahead afterwards. Go look for um, other things to build, uh, to, to deal with. Because like I said, these campaigns these days, we're playing for fun. Um, but yeah, I just want, just want that clear that this, this was definitely favorable for order resolve. Oh, hang on. Our, our other troops are coming in from over here, so... Well, they're all going to be horse archers, so they'll, they'll be able to get around here. At some point. That's why it's good to have all the cavalry coming in as reserves, they can get to the battlefield on time. Our reinforcements have arrived! Okay, I don't think they're gonna come at us. Otherwise I would have chosen to sally out on the field. There's definitely some units in there. See, things are collapsing. If we could get some shots off on those slingers, that would be great, but it looks like they're gonna... We're just not quite in range. I'm gonna draw them out a little bit more over here, because obviously this choke point here doesn't suit me at all. Unless we want to get our slingers up here. Problem is also, they're, it's a slight high ground advantage they've got there. Kills? A little bit. I just want to annoy them, make them come out here. The things with horse archers, you've got to stay mobile. You have to be like, sit there and shoot. That's why, in my opinion, horse archers that don't have Parthian shot are worthless. Okay, 
Looks like all these niggas might be here. There's some more skirmishes up this way. Turn all of these guys off skirmish mode, it's not needed. This could be a waste of ammo. Oh, they, they still have a little shooter stream from that angle, so let's, let's get him out of there. Right, but at least Parthian archers over here. We should be able to, like, shoot them from this from this spot here. Just come in here, shoot them. And then get out before the slingers get there. Oh, that's even better if they do that. Shoot him right in the back. Yeah, this is a very good shot to be shoot, uh, place to be shooting him from. Shit, 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 shit. Spears, get up here. Oh, they are back here. So what are they doing? Are they coming at us now? Like full pelt? The order is a little bit quiet. Let me just increase it a little bit. Actually, no. I think I think it's fine. Is my volume at my end. It's good for us that they come out here like this. Yeah, they're all, they're all coming out. Too much about their oh, those axemen. Wouldn't worry too much about them. I need to get all of my archers closer in so we, they can be shooting. Don't be aiming for them. Slingers! Horse archers! The men are wavering. Of course they are, because they're trash. Our spears are yours. It's okay, they can be replaced. This is what I'm saying about auto resolve would have yielded better results because I wouldn't have wouldn't be wiping out any of my um my trashy infantry, which in this one we're probably gonna lose a few of them. And for those royal cataphracts, if you can, no, 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 you stay over there. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Oof, what are these mercenary hillmen? They did a lot of damage to us there. So yeah, you just lock them down for as long as you can, and we just shoot them in the meantime. General is under attack. Things need to get back. Is dead. Fuck those Hillmans with their javelins, they do so much damage. 
So yeah, I should definitely be getting Hillman instead of the, the desert shit. Just for the javelins. Don't worry about the Eastern Spearman. Easily replaceable. Totally worth. Only only worth for useful for anything for um for order resolves. And I guess. I mean, this is this is really their role to so just sit there and, and hold the enemy back. Flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. The battle is turning in our favor. Flinders! Orders! No man holds action! Come on, get in there. Then back in. We are at your command. Fire. Because um, Armenia is another Eastern faction, we can recruit new Eastern spears straight here. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. What are they doing? They're uh, they're trying to stop us from taking out those eastern slingers. Missed our chance there. One of our units has used all its ammunition. It's okay. We've still got plenty of ammo. I don't want to use any of those abilities. Don't think I did anything. Get back. I don't want I don't want this unit here getting wiped out. I reckon pretty soon the the entire army will rout. So what's happened here is that we've this is this is why order resolve is overpowered. Um, majority of our infantry were wiped out, right? But our these some of these units over here took no damage, and with the order replenishment system, because it's um just the way it's designed. It's going to take forever to, to replenish that, as opposed to if we had order resolved and took damage across the whole thing. That being said, in order resolve as well, order resolve. I mean, archers don't really take much damage. Buff. It's these guys that take damage first. So I don't know. Maybe it's going to be the same as order resolve. Okay, we just won. So yeah, loads of damage with our infantry here. It would be best for us to merge them and um, actually no, the other army doesn't even have. Any uh, horse archers uh, doesn't have a full stack, so I just recruit new ones. Right, as far as I could tell, that was their largest army. So I, this is why I didn't want to sabotage it. I want you to go ahead over here, and if there's an army, that's not really concerned. If there's an army here, sabotage it so it doesn't attack us while we're trying to recover. Good. Well, this this I can tell this spy here is going to be a very very worth worthy uh, servant of the of the great king. All right, so it's not a full stack. Watch over me. See, I don't I don't want I don't want horse skirmishes. Um. Right, so we could convert it to this to get light horse studs. Oh, right, so you, there's two different cavalry buildings. So I wanted to have all my recruitment happening in Mesopotamia. That's a light horse one. We have heavy horse ones there as well. And then we need infantry barracks on top of that.
And then there's the exotic animals. I wouldn't mind having a few elephants. No fucking camels. I hate camels. We fight for you, my lord. Extra campaign. That movement range is good. So, this isn't really where I want to be recruiting troops from anyway. I usually just like having one recruiting settlement. So let's just destroy that. I still need to get my head around all the buildings for that, that path you have. But we can still recruit this trash here. Could get some Median cavalry actually. That that might not be too bad. Oh no, Median cavalry, they're kind of trashy. Like I'd much rather get better cav than that. So yeah, get rid of it. What cruelty do you wish? It's a great and glorious thing to fight. So what's our replenishment rates? Do you wish? Oh, no. Yeah, so it'll take a, a while for them to fully replenish, but we don't need to wait around for that. We can keep moving fairly soon. We fight for you, my lord. If there's nothing here, why don't you just go and take these settlements for us? Are you ready to Catch up with them later. Go take them. Rather than just have them sit there and wait for them to come back. Because that'll be the next target. You want to be taking out their armies. Alright. Let's have a look here. I don't really want to um, invest too much in this region. Just because I don't know. Actually, what I could do... Build a food building here. Because the public order is good. Oh, look. Armenia is right here. I didn't... It's not far past... Um, they're going to try and take Ekbatana. What have we got in here? We've got Persian Hoplites, Eastern Spears, Trash, Mob, Worthless. Okay, so if there's two mob, that means we've essentially got six units in there, because mob is just trash. Alright, let's recruit a general in here so that he can help out against them. I'll make him a royal cataphract. Get and we want to adopt him right away. How much influence did that cost us? Not much. And then at this stage of the game, we get it back pretty easily. But later on in the campaign, it becomes a bit of a pain to get. Now, we'll probably need some mercenaries. Archers will be particularly useful because it, it's a siege. They won't be able to get around. They probably will go to Zadricado. Alright, let's, let's um, just get one, that's fine. And after the siege is over, we can just disband them. This guy here, since I might just force march him a little bit. It's dangerous to do that, but it looks like it's pretty safe up here. Okay, I think we're all good. Let's move on to the next turn. So they've laid siege, but it'll... They, it looks like they want to try and either starve us out, or try and, um... Oh, good. They're all abandoning him. That's funny. Okay, so blackmail... It doesn't matter. We certainly don't want to fight them out on the field. Oh, man. 
One turn and already like they take attrition. That that shit's annoying. Okay, this spy over here, if you could sabotage them, I might actually sell you out. And you're a shit spy. But you still succeeded, which is good. What's what's wrong with you? You got loads of zeal, but you should have cunning. Well, there you go, that'll help him out a lot. Alright, now with that, for one thing we can see exactly what they've got. We've damaged them. I think we could win that out in the field. Because otherwise we are only two turns until we starve out. Here's the things that make me think I can win. Yes, they have cavalry superiority, but their cavalry are shit. Our, our uh, elite Persian archers will rip them to shreds. Yeah! We're matched... Well, no, they've got a slightly more infantry than I do, but all I need for my infantry to do is just hold them back until we got rid of all their, their skirmishes and shit. Oh, I didn't go with horse archer here. We can actually just get a Pyrrhic victory right off the bat, that would be better off. Good old what didn't want it anymore anyway. How may I serve so we can just hire another one. Actually what we should do, hire these three, four, sorry really quickly, what are these? And then just go out there and finish it off. Oh. Hang on. I'll need some more troops. I just just stand here. If they attack us, then um, they're fucked next time. What cruelty do you wish? Maybe you should be standing outside the settlement. Oh, it's just so you can get heal uh, recovery. I reckon actually we lost more men than they did. Oh well, we, we stopped the siege, giving us time to, uh, to move around. Man, these artillery, I reckon they really, they do slow you down by quite a lot. There's 11 units in there and this has only got 10, so we'll, we'll need a few more. Hang on, what was, what was that mission? Raise an army, just anywhere. Alright, so if I was to raise an army here. My Lord. That gets an extra recruit slot. Then we secure him a promotion, and yeah, we're still at seventy percent. Which is, when we get a little bit more Imperium, we'll want that to go down because we don't want any civil wars in this game. And I know the memes are going to be like, "But how many civil wars can you get?" So, okay, it's it's like it's getting really old now. How may I serve poetry? Sabotage. I have carried out your orders. Good, you keep being successful. They probably abandoned him because they realized he was going to lose. Okay, we still need more food. Public order, I mean, they're Eastern culture, so like the... There shouldn't be any culture penalties, that's why the public order is really good. Okay, what we need to do here is transfer... Oh, uh, hang on. Transfer these two in exchange for these two. So that he can make it over here. See, this, this is why cavalry is supreme on the campaign map. Being able to move just that little bit extra makes all the difference. The difference between taking two turns to get to a settlement, or taking one turn. Those guys didn't participate. Alright, 
right, so what do we got here? We got herding ground. Okay, so if we've if we've got that there, no need to build another one. Let's go with a shrine. So pretty much, yeah, the Armenians are crushed now. They've they've got nothing left to offer. You need to hurry up and beat them before. Okay. So Oh fuck, he's already got two units in there, so we can't just assassinate him and just be done with it. However, you should sabotage him just for your own experience. Alright, so level up. Let's see, so we want to get as much cunning as possible. What's this do? No, I'd much prefer it if you had cunning. I want to increase that, that chance of success. Okay, so our income's gone down a fair bit lately, probably just due to um, recruiting so many troops. We could sail over here and, and, uh, and take this, I think. Shouldn't be too difficult, and we should do it before they start recruiting over here. Problem is going out at sea. Not always a good idea, but we should be fine. It's good for public order, but which isn't really a concern right now anyway. So I said I was going to build a tax office here because that actually provides food. And it's higher tax rate anyway. And that'll be good for dignitaries. And these are good for spies. To be able to recruit spies straight at level 4, that's really good. Because level 1 is when they're at the most annoying. They just don't succeed very often. Okay, I'm out of money. But everything's going well. So let's move on. Oh, hang on, we don't... We don't need this unit here, do we? I mean, it doesn't cost us a lot. Yeah, just keep them there, just in case they attack again. And they're just abandoning ship. Well, just getting the fuck out of there. Although my vassals might end up taking the settlement. I hope they don't. Time to do a dick move. Here's what we do in a battle like this. To stop them from taking it, we fight the battle manually and we concede defeat immediately. But only at the cusp of, a, the, of um, these guys' victory. We have to actually make sure we withdraw from the fight. Because next turn we might be able to get a bit closer. Yeah. Our reinforcements have arrived. It's a dick move, but at the same time, I don't give a fuck. The enemy is attacking our ally. Right, we're withdrawing from this. Legend, you're such a bad ally. Well, here's the thing: is this is up against it, dealing with the AI? And the AI has just no memory of this kind of shit. If you can get away with something, then you do it. when these guys are all gone. Will I be able to just look anywhere?
Nope. I just get glimpses of shit. Alright, and now we just concede defeat. And that stops them from getting the settlement. They still lose their navy, but, you know, we lost the battle. You're a legend, you can't believe you lost that battle. Yeah. Back! Hopefully we're still in range to take Salamis next turn. Actually, stand here. Damn it. Well, let's just hope they don't make the attack again. Doesn't matter, because, like, well, actually, it does matter. The longer we take out here, the sooner this guy's going to arrive. So, when this one shows up, we need to make sure we're already here. Can you reach Gazakut now? Yep. Let them. That part is blocked, my lord. Damn. They can't win that. So hold on a second, let me just hire some mercenaries. See if that makes a difference. Besieging settlement. Just looking for, for victory there, I think else. Now problem is though, he might come over here and attack us, so I need you to sabotage him. Alright. If that's the case, then I need you to force march over to here to protect him. My lord. Watch over me. My lord. I don't think they'll make the attack on us. Awaiting Parthia's bidding, my lord. Royalty, do you wish? If we attack it, it's going to go in the opposite direction. Let me try sabotaging it first. I will call. We fight for you, my lord. And you come around over this way and attack it. Just in case they run away. Make sure they don't go in a bad direction. Oh, motherfucker, they still did. Alright, we'll finish them off anyway. Can't leave them in the back here. And then we gotta force march the fuck out of here. Did you get sabotaged or something? It looks like it. But there's no enemy armies out here, so you're safe to force march. We've almost finished off Armenia. Alright, so they've just recruited a bunch of troops. You need to sabotage them again. Should get another dignitary. Reduce our upkeep costs. What cruelty do you wish? Oh, Man, we just banned all of our um, infantry, we could make it there. But, oh well, next turn then. Doesn't look like they're recruiting, so we should be okay. So 
So it's always good to, you know, come at them hard and fast. Why is that there? Get rid of that. Oh, because I just conquered it, that's why. Yeah, try and keep our food at at least 20, that way we keep that uh, extra replenishment. 10%'s a big deal. stuff to build that's not costing us too much in food. Okay. We seem to be pretty good here. Oh, hang on. Here's something. Yep. Yeah, one public order is not a big deal here, I think. It'll be fine. Yeah, with all that instability eventually going away, that should be fine. Alright, let's move on. Campaign movement range is one of the most important things, I think, for an army. Being able to get around is vital. Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, cancel the construction of something. Let me just go find something. Cancel that. And hire a dignitary here. That way he can administrate to this force, so that we can reduce its upkeep costs. How old is he? 23, that's good. Let's move on. No, no, that's a bad, bad motherfucker. Alright, so we have to do the exact same thing again. Another crushing defeat. Hopefully this time, we're just pushed back not quite as far. Got to make sure that we actually leave the battlefield first, so that when we concede defeat, we don't actually suffer any casualties. The enemy is attacking our ally. I know it's silly, but I don't know. I mean, just because they're our allies doesn't mean we we wish good fortune among them. I mean, like I said, when it comes to campaign, all your shit belongs to me. You don't just get to be vassals. Especially in Total War games. Like, I can accept it in other types of games, but in Total War games, I think having vassals is just, just worthless. So yeah, we take no losses. Another crushing defeat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't affect us in any way. Except that we're getting an opportunity to take the settlement away from the grass of our allies without declaring war on them. Okay, yeah, we should definitely be able to get there next turn. Well, that's good. Please reporting, my lord. Good. We got him. 
And how come they fully recovered? Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. We still get here. Now, the problem is, is that if we had taken it last turn, we could have had a turn of extra turn of recovery. I don't like looting settlements. It just it causes too many problems. But now the problem is that Antony is on the way. Well, it's not actually Antony himself, but still. Okay, you can tell that they're, they've been trying to sabotage us, but it didn't succeed for them. If we take out this last stuff over here, they're, they're done for. Let me just see if these guys here can do it. We fight for you, my lord. Okay, all we need to do, I think, sabotage this guy here, if you can. I shall give them... Bitch. I will not fail you again. Alright, so what we do now, besiege the settlement. Let power before our might. Ready then I need the both of you to push this army out of the way. Waiting for more orders. Advance! My lord! For honor and great glory! Okay, it's not out of the way yet. Awaiting Parthia's bidding. My lord. At your command. On the move, my lord. That's it, take him out. This should finish uh, Armenia off for good. Ready for further orders. So what do we lose in that? We lost like a few units. That's okay, I don't care about any of them except for the, the Ballista. I just want to hand them over to them. Like I said, only thing I care about are the Ballista. And since they took no damage, we're all good, because I just want to disband all that shit anyway. We fight for you, my lord. And Armenia is wiped out. Alright, so now we need to redirect our forces back to deal with Mark Antony. Problem that we're facing now is that we don't actually share a border with him, meaning it's not worth being at war with him because I don't want to. I don't want to take these regions without taking on Galatia. Greetings in the name of the. So that's who we're going to have to go. We're going to have in order to defeat Mark Antony, we need to go through Galatia. So these guys need to be fought next. Okay, the uh, Cappadocians, how many settlements do they have? Just the one? We are trading with them though. Oh, we are also trading with Galatia. Let's see if we can trade with these I guys. I you as befits your reputation. Now, friend, speak plainly. So that's just curious. To I don't want any more satch, please. Thanks we for have the money, bitch. Alright, trade with you. Speak, my friend. And burden yourself of trade with you is I am sorry to say. You have my attention. Speak Oops. and try to do it well. I did say that I want to go down that way. Now, Judea down here. They like us. What do they like us? Because they don't like Antony. They're at war with Antony. Because I'm thinking maybe we should go down here and kill... Now, we're really going to need to get rid of uh, Antony's Rome. But, yeah, I'm just concerned. I don't want to... Um, but we'd probably get more money from the taxes if we cancel that trade agreement. We could hit Trapezos pretty easily. 
You know what, I'm going to hit Cappadocia first. So first thing I'm going to do is cancel the trade agreement with them. Because that's, that's not worth a lot. I greet you in my master's feared name. Oh, Speak motherfucker. I don't want any any bad reputation. Then again, it's only three turns. It's not going to be too bad. The market. So they don't like us. We'll declare war on them next turn, which will probably make us make our, our uh, reputation drop a little bit more. But um, what can I say? We just have stuff to do. So you can stand over here. So now we need to force march those artillery to try and make them catch up. Get rid of all this shit. Didn't want it in the first place. And these guys over here, that was just needed to deal with the Armenians. And now we've got our income back. So yeah, quickest way to get back to Antioch anyway was through um, through Cappadocia, rather than have to go all the way around. All right, so over here, they're they're pretty much abandoned ship. This guy couldn't leave. Okay, I don't want to sabotage him this turn because we want him to be able to scout the area out afterwards. Laying siege to the settlement. Amazing what a second army does in terms of reinforcements. Oh. Results. Yeah, these these cavalry just if for an order resolve stack, just not needed. But if we ever go into a fight manually, I'll need them. But then again, up against horse archers, they're they're never going to catch them. That's the problem. Was that their only settlement? Well, sucks to be you then. Now, did that wipe out the faction? I don't think it did. They must have another army somewhere. Yeah, they do. But it wiped out that army at the very least, so it's not going to be able to hire mercenaries. So it looks like these guys were at war with with quite a lot of people, but they were on their way to take take on the Alani. Now the Alani like us, but they're holding on to territory that that I want. So that's sort of like my next stop. We fight for you, my lord. Awaiting Parthia's bidding, my lord. At your command. See, uh, I mean, when it comes down to the stuff, I, I know a lot of people like to get strong warriors, but when I look at the logistics trait here. How useful that is for the campaign map. That extra 4% replenishment allows us to keep moving. And that's crucial. At your command. Like, it's all very well to be able to win your battles with ease. But winning battles won't win you the campaign by itself. And I'd, I'd uh, sooner sacrifice my ability to win battles for the ability to um, to move around the campaign a bit faster. Okay, so over here we need to build something. What have, haven't we got? We haven't got a shrine here. What, one shrine in every province. Okay, looking good. Funny things with these artillery is I just I want two of them in each army. So I've hired more just in case I don't know I want to raise I don't know, we'll see. Um I still don't know exactly how I'm gonna go about a doom stack. A lot of replenish uh, a lot of um a lot of growth needed in order to get these settlements built up. That'll just take time. Is there, a, is there a thing we could do to try and grow it faster? I 
Uh, food at the moment is actually pretty good. Doesn't matter. Let's just move on. Got a little bit of cash left over. We'll just spend it on next time. Good. That'll help him catch up. I mean, in my opinion, all the good shit is in the Cunning General. Campaign movement range, extra logistics, extra ammunition, all that shit is good. Reducing enemy morale on legendary difficulty, eh. Rome 2 doesn't really make that big of a difference with that. I mean, the other thing that's really going to affect are units like Desert Infantry, and they weren't a threat to begin with. Like, reducing Praetorian Infantry, um, or just, you know, Legionary Cohort um, morale by 30%, they're still going to fucking wreck your infantry. Okay, that's fine. Well, we've got heaps of money. So that's good. Out of curiosity, let me just see this. Upgrading this... Oh, it doesn't cost any food. So that's good. No downside. Um, Alright, so... The problem here is that we will lose some of our reputation. Be welcome, emissary. If you come in. But it's actually not that bad. How may I serve? Take a few turns to get that back. Our our As I've said before, reputation is a currency to be used when it's convenient. And it is convenient for me to use it right now. We fight for you, my lord. Now, that doesn't wipe them out, they've still got a force somewhere. We need to find it and get rid of it. Ready for battle. Ready for battle. Advance. It's a great and glorious thing to fight for our cause. Good, and that gives us full control over Armenia as well. Okay, so we've got access to the animal breeder here. You yeah, already said we're we're not we're not recruiting in this region. So get rid of this stuff. We only need... Hmm. For the time being, we kind of do need the food. So I'll keep that for the, for now. Upgrade this. Don't, um... Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We can build in this region. We should be safe. Should be. Um, let me just check to make sure. See if I can trade with anyone else. The Alani... No, we're not trading with them. Because we're going to kill them next. Come, my friend. Try non-aggression. I'm not interested well, in going up that way right now. Emissary. Speak, and I will ask. Nope. Fine, 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 fine. All right, what are we doing? Yeah, take a shortcut through here. You've almost caught up to them. Got vassals running around, but they all love me, so it's okay. Okay, so it's spring. Now's the best time to be getting up here. Now, we're not at war with these guys just yet, and I don't care about relations, but I definitely do want to go to war with them, so let's just start sabotaging them anyway. Recouping the cost of the, the thing is not a big deal. We we'll have to deal with this stuff last turn. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, not destroy that. Hang on. So that's where you get like the infantry from, the infantry tents. So yeah, the cultural difference penalty is not that ba not that bad with Parthia, but um, Maybe there's not much, that much money coming from here, so we should just exempt it from taxation. Can we hire the um, champions by any chance? Okay, I'll get that after we finish with this.
Got a bit of food so we can afford to, s to spend a little bit of it. Expanding these regions. Okay. Looks good. Let's move on. They're almost here. Now if they've got like tons of legionary cohort, there's not really a lot we can do about that. It's going to be all up to our archers. Alright, so let's have a look. The Median Cavalry should be okay. Five slingers in here. These guys just basically hold the line. Plus, we've still got. Oh, there's no garrison because I didn't didn't invest in this region. Didn't want to invest in it until this is done. Which, now that I think about it, this was a silly decision to make to come here. They'll probably hit Palmyra first, and then come after us. Or maybe they'll go straight to Tyros because it's it's less defended. But usually the AI goes straight for the player. We'll just we'll see how we go. If this unit, if this whole army gets killed, it's it's a piece of shit. It can easily be recovered. Okay, so Pontus took out Galatia's um, thing there, and we've seen that. By cancelling trade agreements and stuff like that, it doesn't really drop our, um, our stuff by too much. So, I, di I did want to kill them in order to get through here. And this will give us better relations with Pontus, so let's to you. cancel I this. You come. Dealing is done. I'll wear and now, actually I should have asked Pontus if that's what they wanted. For your speech. Sure that you come to deliver... So we're waiting until we're, we're like right in position before actually making the attack though. Okay, they've caught up. So... We're over here firstly. We need to disband two units. Obviously the Eastern Spearmen are the way to go. Get rid of them. This one only needs to disband one. Now, as for these two, we'll just leave them in Mesopotamia, and um, yeah, we'll see how we go with it. All right, we might as well force. Mar oh, fuck! <laughs> there's not much further for them to go, but that's fine. There's nothing. There's nothing out here that's gonna harm us, so it's okay. Good for experience. I mean, we've got the money. Got heaps of money. Where's my other spy? He should come out over here as well. Or she should. Now, we haven't fully recovered with the cavalry. Or them. So we should wait one more turn, I think. Just stand on the border here. This should help increase replenishment by 4%, so that certainly helps. Okay, I think the hordes of the steppe have been defeated. Yeah, they're gone. Now, if they start recruiting with that army, you need to take him out. But over here, keep sabotaging this one into oblivion. So with that, that they'll be even more damaging next time we use it. Man, that did... That's overpowered, but... Oh well. The AI will do it as well. Just because something's overpowered doesn't mean you shouldn't use it. Alright, so... It's kind of silly not to use something that's that powerful. Just 
going to go through the list this way. See what I can build. We haven't got one of these buildings. So basically, from here on out, we should hire dignitaries from this region. The thing is, sometimes it's better to just hire them where they're needed. Because I tend to move around the map pretty damn fast. And I'm certainly not going to hire one here to get them to Britannia. I'll just hire it in Britannia. It'd be quick actually to build with the fucking thing in Britannia, I suppose. Um, public order is not a problem. Yeah, we'll go with the go with the tax office here. All right. Now, if we look at Antony's Rome, how strong are we compared to them? We've caught up, but we're still not considered as strong as them. Then again, I did just recently disband a few armies. Alright, moving on. Extra few coins for the next turn. Yeah, I thought they might. Okay. That's okay, this will be an interesting fight. Because here's the thing, the cavalry will come in on foot. The biggest problem though is going to be those first cohort. Um, the eastern spearmen of mine are totally worthless, ex except to block off the levees. And we need our our archers here. They need to be taking out the, the heavy infantry. Alright, let's do this. Let's fight. Actually, can we just see if this works? Like I said, if we lose, it's no big deal. This army, very easily replaceable. That general, also not really a big deal. The only thing I wish I had in this army is maybe a few horse archers. Instead of, you know, Eastern Spear Spam. Okay, can we see where they are? They're all over here, but they can't all disembark this spot here. There's not enough room. They'll disembark about half their army here half on the other side. It does not matter if they captured the, the settlement. So I want to come out here and meet them. Because what we can do is we, we can essentially do, take this battle in, in two parts. We defeat this army here with overwhelming numbers and then we go and defeat the other army over there with overwhelming numbers even though they were evenly matched in the first place, taking out a big problem in two smaller parts is the way to go. Alright, so, we, we do have a lot of units coming in over here, though. They're going to disembark over here. Alright, so the legionary cavalry, they sh we, we should just be able to send these guys against them. Like I said, these guys' ammunition needs to be used against the legionary cohort. So what else have we got coming here? Vigilies, mercenary citizen, cavalry. Okay, so these... Oh, and their general as well. Yeah, so if we kill them nice and early, that'll, that'll help. Although I don't think their legionary units are going to care that the general dies. Don't waste your ammunition on these guys. I just might need to make sure they don't break. Because, you know, they truly are just fucking garbage. over here, you've got to get rid of the, the Legatus. Okay, now you guys, the bulk of their forces coming in from over here, I need you to distract them. 
They get us on their own, they're actually pretty good fighters. Lock them down so they don't interfere with this. They're doing some damage though. I want you to try and sneak. Oh, I can't get through. Get, get some more of these guys through. Walk riot. Make a break. Good. See, I really want to be concentrating on this right now, but we we got other shit to worry about. They'll they'll want to just sit in the town square. I think that's usually what they go for. The main advantage that we have in this battle is mobility. The men are wavering. They're, they're not even tied. Why, why are you having problems? Up against Vigilies? Ca fucking cowards. Okay, you shooting at them? Yep. That's the way. Get those kills on those first cohort. Okay, looks like I'm going to need someone to just like delay them here. So don't interfere. Okay, are there any missile units in this? Okay, there's levees over there. I want you to go deal with them. What's this here? Dogs? Yeah, but they won't have any dogs on them. I think got some levees. The enemy general is dead. Good job. Come over here. Don't worry about them flanking you. Alright, okay. You're, you're gonna have to. Missile cavalry at your command. Okay, hang on. You guys get back. You're my most important unit. We're going over here. These citizen cavalry, they don't want to break just yet. Okay, you can fire at will. Yeah, they're not going to last long. They've essentially done what they needed to do. They're not, they're not going to get any more kills than that. But I would like to get them out of here. Problem is, they're already locked down in combat. Leave. Just, if you could just fucking break that unit and try and get them out of there. Break that unit. Okay, you did. Get the fuck out of there if you can. Oh, you're gonna need to sacrifice another one over here so that the other ones can get away. And now we fight out here. Now they've, they've got my Eastern Infantry trapped, but that's okay. Like I said, they're they're virtually worthless. Flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. And now the thing's gonna the thing that's gonna matter is whether or not we've actually got enough ammunition to take out all their first cohort. Okay, back away. If those legionaries come over here with javelins, that's really gonna suck. You guys need to get the fuck out of here. This is a shameful display. Missile 
You guys have a little bit of uh, fresh. Yeah, so they're, they're gonna get slaughtered. Can't do anything about that. The only thing I could possibly do is give him this just so that he can speed up. Okay, you probably shouldn't waste your ammunition on them, to be honest. An entire unit has perished. Doesn't matter. It's just like I said, um, these units here just don't stand a chance against legionaries. Come on, get out of there. However, with them charging at us around like this, this could actually work out quite well, because they'll get exhausted. An entire unit has perished. So yeah, it's a good thing we have the extra ammunition trait. So this guy's here, they're very tired. These guys got away. I don't want to be shooting into the front of legionaries, because they've got good missile block chance, but we'll just see how, how single volley goes. No kills, yeah, we really need to be shooting into their, their flanks. So now we play sort of guerrilla warfare out here. We're also going to need to split these guys up. Now, as we split them up, that makes them harder to micro, but that's okay. Now, you guys need to go looking for any any more of those levies. So those of you who are still here, just get the fuck away. So hopefully shooting them in the flank is going to make a bit more of a difference. Careful, you got legionary cavalry coming in over here. Well, it should just call them like infantry now. Hang on, what's this over here? Levies. That's for you to go kill. Problem is there's legionaries all over the place. Actually, charge into these legionary cavalry, because there's just so few in number that I reckon the charge would, would crush them. I don't think they use their javelins on us. Oh, they did on on them. Damn, that sucks. This is the problem now with me spreading my forces out and being unable to look at the map. Because of legendary difficulty. Shit, 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 shit. I gotta keep an eye on multiple things at once. So what we wanna do is just have some of them run away and just deal with the easy stuff first, like the levies. Just have everyone else just just stay away for the time being. They're, they're, they're just there as a distraction. That's all they're ever for, anyway. Come on, 
damage out of them. Good, that's all their levies, I think, dealt with. Okay, now we need to find the next spot that's actually going to be useful to do something. Okay, if we get around the back of these first cohort, that could be useful. Use him as a horse archer. That's what he is. So yeah, we can't shoot at them head on. That's not going to work. Mercenary Tarantine Cavalry. They're completely exhausted, so that certainly benefits us. Might as well run them down. take them out. I mean, I could go and deal with these over here. Actually, that, you know what? I might, because that'll buy them, buy them a little bit more time. And, and if I can throw in the second win on him, he'll be able to run a lot faster. Gotta keep moving. So you see how much he's going to catch up. Okay, you help us out with this. As soon as he turns his back to you, that's when you go for him. Make their shields count for nothing by shooting him in the back. It's a good thing they're completely exhausted. Could you shoot a little bit faster, please? Mm, they didn't do very much there. You need to get closer. Okay, when you get in range there, you better shoot them. Oh, he's actually tired. Oh no 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 no! I pressed the wrong button. I get back on the horses. Okay. That happens from time to time. No harm done, really. Do this because you're already pretty tired, you might as well get some more out of it. Maybe we should use heavy shot. Try and pierce that armor. Don't turn around on me. Okay, stop firing. Okay, now you second wind on yourself. I don't think heavy shot was really that useful. So now come over here. This this could take me a while to fucking finish this off, to be honest. There's actually not that many of them left. It's it's all just their, their legionaries now, and you just can't go in. Flanking them is just not enough. Can't get too close because of their javelins. Okay, you guys can just sit there now and have a bit of a rest. Oh, 
Alright, so this is a job here for these two, but of course we gotta shoot them in the back. It's the only thing that's gonna work. Good, that did a lot of damage. Just one shot. They're fucking exhausted like crazy. My lord. Apply the the double. Come on, speed it up. Find your target, noble horse archers! Quickly now! It's good the slingers are doing it. Volley's doing close to 10 kills. So they're getting a bit of a chance to rest. That's good. They'll be able to stay a step ahead of them. I think we'll win this match now. We've got them. Keep on with the match. Win this battle. It's a match when you're up against a human opponent. The closer we are, the more accurate we'll be as well. Okay, what I want you guys to do is actually come around this way. Get back around this way. Because if we keep going that way, we come in contact with the other one. Shit. Shit. They're caught up to us. Wasn't too much damage. Oh shit. Our general is under attack. Double shit. See, this is the problem. Fucking. Gotta keep an eye on all this crap. Um. Need to get out of there. Okay. I think we managed to get through the line there. These these hoplites. The, the thing is with them, they're not exhausted. Damn it. I missed all the good shit that was going on over here because of that. I don't think the damage was that bad though. Should break soon. Just a few more kills and they'll break. Oh, tedious. It'll get easier once we've taken out just a few more of these units. as well. Are they in Testudo? We're almost broken. Okay, good. Definitely finish them off, because we don't have to deal with them again. But, at least that's one unit now we don't have to worry about anymore. So I should send them to go deal with this. But it's pretty close, close to the red line, just... Yeah. That way we get these guys all together. Once again. Alright, now we get a clearer idea, of, also, of what we're up against. So this is what we have left to deal with. 
So one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven legionary type cohort, and then there's other stuff which aren't as much of a concern. Is there vigilies in there somewhere? Yeah, they're, they're not a big concern. We can... Actually, taking them out could be good to help break the rest of the forces. I don't know. We'll see. I want you to charge into them to just help slow them down. It's just a... Just to feign the charge. Okay, so it's just to slow them down. Okay, you're done. Get over here. These guys here need a rest. Have a bit of a shoot at him. There we go. Now I can concentrate on this shit over here. Alright, so now the most exhausted of these will need a... Um, We'll need a second wind, obviously, because otherwise they're just too slow. We won't be able to keep up. Come on, do it. Yeah. Okay, then we're going to just sort of split up again as well. Because, like I said, we cannot shoot them in the front. It's not going to work. So just mirror this first cohort, not exhausted. Mercenary Terran team, Kev. They're, they're missile units. We should be able to charge into them. We've got to separate them like the rest of the cohorts. Just keep some of them distracted out here. Just shoot them. I'll be fine. Watch out, though you say javelins. Okay, here's a good opportunity for us to shoot these first cohort. We await your orders. My lord, feed us. back this way. Nope, they want to keep going in that direction, that's fine. This reminds me of that Wood Elf battle. You guys know what I'm talking about. In that first episode where badly outnumbered and I had like two units and I still won against the dwarves just because they were slower. So I'm making the most out of every single shot that I had. Change directions. Fair enough. I reckon if we got a good solid charge into this first cohort, we can break them. Oh, motherfucker shot at us. 
Starting to lose some men over here. It says they're winning decisively, but I don't know. Median cavalry! Shit, 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 shit. Bit slow on that. Median cavalry! Get these guys out of there. Alright, good, so that one, that one shattered, got rid of him. Okay, I actually need them to come around here, like, there's some units that are exhausted. Oh, these are veteran hoplites. So it didn't even matter if they get too close, don't worry about them too much. But yeah, we gotta get rid of them, we can't fight them in melee. Since they've got no javelins, we can allow them to get close. Make it seem like enticing for them to attack us. I've got, I've got to stay away from them as well. here and um, second wind this guy. Too bad I don't have groups second wind. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken that shot. Damn. Javelins. What? No, 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 no. Wrong thing. Now we gotta get through here. Oh, it's a drag, but this is what we're gonna do to beat Rome. Especially when we're at a disadvantage. Oh, motherfucker, they've still got other units that we had missed. Oh, shit. I thought this is all we had left to deal with. Fuck me. It's gonna be a hard one to win. I don't know if we've got enough ammunition. Oh, great. Now for another big fucking chase. Oh, look, this battle's taking away. I should have just fucking auto resolved this. Who cares if we lose? Like, it, it just takes too long. The incentive for doing this kind of battle is really low. It'd be, it'd be stupid if we do all of this and then still end up losing. Because tactically, I fucking outplayed them, but they were just too powerful of an army. If it was medieval too, we would have won by now. With, despite having an inferior army. Okay. So, how many of that, these legionaries are left? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's only five. That's not too many. Yeah, because we took out two. Unless I'm not counting one of them. There could be someone sitting over there, for all we know. Needed horse archers for this. This is where I sped things up by a lot. Because the thing about horse archers is you get around their back a lot faster. Here, I need you guys to gain their attention so that I can shoot their back. Stop being exhausted. I can't just hit and run them either, that's not going to work. Damn, I just can't get a good angle on them right now. 
What I might do is pause the recording because this is this is going on for far too fucking long and resume when it's closer to the end of the battle. Okay, so we just got the battle is turning in our favor thing. So that's indicating that yeah, it looks like the battle's won. Very good. That's what I was waiting for. Just needed that battle was turning in in our favor thing and then it's all good from here. So yeah, we did actually end up winning the battle. Took us long enough though. The only units that took any real damage were the um and attack that. That took any damage with the uh, Eastern Spearmen. Very easily replaced. So yeah, shoot this. So that's the last one there. It seems like the army loss penalty wasn't quite enough to make it break. But I think all of their uh, legionary units have all been wiped out. As in after after we've finished off these. There we go. Make sure we finish them all off though. So a two hour long video. But you know that's a, a special battle, I suppose, where Bounce of Power was not in our favour, Order Resolve would not have yielded us a victory. Manually resolve we win. And that's that. This battle here has bought me a pass on many an auto resolves. It's just like I can just say, look, if you want to have a great battle, watch a great battle. Watch this one here. The bounce powers are my favorite. I feel like auto resolving. I feel like I'm perfectly justified now. So yeah, costly victory, largely because of uh, all the trash that was in the army. But look at look at their army. The only things that got away with the levies. That's just because I was too busy trying to get away from them. Not really. So I lost four units. Not a big deal, we can replace that very quickly. And since they have no local regions, it'll take them quite some time before they, uh, they send another army at us. Alright, well, that's the end of this episode, guys, so like and subscribe, part 3 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.